All right, let's look at setting Spotty up and it is easy. Next, let's look at connecting Spotty to the device and some power. Okay, now turn Spotty like this. We're gonna connect the device to Spotty. So we'll use the USB port on the side of Spotty and slip it in. Now, if you're like me, typically when you're using USB cables, you get it wrong every time. And you're kind of doing this over and over again. Thankfully, they made it so that always, if you see the little three prong kind of USB symbol on the top, that's the way it slides in. Nice and easy. And then connect it to the device. So, there you go. That's done. Next, let's continue to turn our little spotty here. So, device, spotty, connected. Now, we need power. The little piece will pop into the back of spotty. We'll need one of these. Oh, this is called the USB charger. I actually don't know the name of these, so if you know, leave it in the comments below. Let's just put this in here, like so. And connect USB. There we go. And now you're ready to roll. We can look at turning Spotty on, setting up your accounts, and then playing with the actual device. Okay, let's turn Spotty on. So down at the bottom on his left foot, there's a power button. Press and hold for about three seconds, and you'll see the power button goes white. So once it's white, then we can use it. You'll also hear a little boom boom, meaning it connected. There we go. Okay. Now you'll need to download the Airpedia app. So you can go to Google Play or the App Store, depending on what operating system your device is using. Once you download that and have it all set up, as I do now, we'll open the app. When you first open it, you have to create an account. So they want your email as your ID. Once you open the app, now we need to create an account. So in the bottom, on kind of the left side, you'll see create an account. Open that, and we need to enter an email address, which will be our ID. Okay. And confirm our email. Now it'll send an email, a verification email to your email. So I need to go there and then hit okay. Now we just need to enter some personal information, but as it said in the terms and conditions and privacy policy, only the information that's entered here will be used in the app, nowhere else. Okay, so let's add our personal information. What is your child's name? Jamie. Now we add a profile picture, but I'm sure Jamie wants to do that himself later. So for now, I'll skip. In the bottom right corner. All right, let's hit start. Confirm. So we'll place the book in the center of the screen. We hit yes. Now we show the QR code. Every book has a QR code in the top left corner of its cover. If for some reason the QR code isn't being read properly, there's a product key that's underneath the QR code and you can just manually enter that. So everything went well, that's good. Verify successful, excellent. Now, I'll show you a cool little trick. Once it's been verified, if you want to read the book right away, cover the lens with your hand, place the book in the center under the lens, and when you move your hand, it'll ask you, do you want to read the book? Now the book that we have here, the first one we're looking at, is Egg Laying Animals. And to show you that it actually knows what it's doing, it'll say, do you want to read Egg Laying Animals? Perfect, yes I do, boom. 